Good morning. We would like to thank you, uh, Sages, for the opportunity to present our work. We have two disclosures that will not influence this presentation. Metabolic syndrome is present in at least 35% of the bariatric population. A similar prevalence of diabetes exists. It is becoming generally accepted that weight loss surgery can lead to remission of comorbid conditions lending to metabolic disease. The objective of this study is to evaluate the role of laparoscopic sleeve gastrectomy in the remission of comorbid conditions contributing to metabolic syndrome. This study was approved by the Institutional Review Board and is a retrospective review from 2007 to 2012. Inclusion criteria are in keeping with our standard bariatric protocol. All patients did, however, require a diagnosis of diabetes with active medical treatment. Preoperative characteristics are listed here. Of note, this was a cohort of 66 obese and diabetic patients with an average preoperative BMI and hemoglobin A1C level of 50 and 7.4 respectively. Hypertension existed in 49 patients and 32 patients had dyslipidemia. A breakdown with regards to medical treatment showed that 3% of patients required insulin 49 patients took oral hypoglycemics, and 15 patients a combination of the two. Hypertension and dyslipidemia were appropriately medically treated. Our surgical technique in sleeve creation begins with four port and liver retractor insertion. Preoperative endoscopy is performed and the endoscope is left in situ used as a bougie. The greater curvature is mobilized and care is taken to ensure complete mobilization of the fundus with exposure of the left cura. An initial tangential firing takes place followed by sequential linear firings with completion of the resection at the angle of hiss. The staple line is then oversewn in an imbricating manner with caution to ensure proper orientation of the conduit. A drain is then placed, situated at the angle of hiss, and postoperative endoscopy is performed to ensure hemostasis and proper orientation. Our results showed a mean operative time of 114 minutes. We had a 0% complication and mortality rate, and there were no conversions to an open procedure. Weight loss outcomes are listed here at one, six, and 12 month follow up. Percent of excess weight loss, as well as percent BMI loss, showed increasing trends over time, reaching values of 51% and 28% at one year, respectively. With regards to diabetes, our preoperative average hemoglobin A1C level of 7.4 dropped to 6.4 and 6.1 at these indicated intervals. A similar pattern in decrease of blood glucose level was noted. Complete diabetes remission, defined as a hemoglobin A1C level of less than 6 in the absence of medical treatment, occurred in 41%, 46%, and 67% of our patients at 1, 6, and 12-month follow-up. Partial remission, defined as a hemoglobin A1C level of less than 6.5, occurred at 68%, 86%, and 81% at these same follow-up times. When broken down by occurrence of, or, sorry, by preoperative insulin use, we can see a higher and more sustained rate of remission in our patients using oral hypoglycemic agents. With regards to hypertension and dyslipidemia, remission occurred in 29% and 21% of patients, respectively. Looking more specifically at individual lipid profiles of interest for cardiovascular risk, we found an overall tr decreasing trend in triglyceride, cholesterol, and LDL levels. There was an overall increasing trend in HDL level in the postoperative setting. All bariatric procedures are not alike with respect to technical complexity, reproducibility of effect, and risk and safety profile. Given this safety profile and illustrated outcomes to date, 
we believe the laparoscopic sleeve gastrectomy is a viable option in the treatment of obesity and metabolic disease. Thank you very much for your time. This paper open for discussion. Very nice presentation. Question over here. Cliff Black from uh, Anniston, Alabama. <coughs> As respect, uh, in respect to risk, uh, I would argue that you have to really look at that in two phases. You know, there's the initial risk of the surgery and then long-term risk. And I would argue that the sleeve is probably the le least risky overall procedure uh, for bariatric surgery. You know, we're seeing bands that have to be removed at a rate of about 16.9% now, which is one out of six patients. So I wonder if you could comment on that. So it was that, that the laparoscopic sleeve is? I would, I would say that the laparoscopic sleeve is probably the le least risky of the bariatric procedures today, overall. Um, I think we agree with that finding. We're also uh, finding an increasing rate of uh, adjustable band removals, which were, as you described, the, uh, the uh, initial safe, uh, safest procedure. But the long-term commitment to the band has uh, extensive complications. Um, we believe the sleeve has a very good safety profile and thus uh, should kind of continue to be accepted, especially as we move forward into uh, kind of new outcomes of medical and surgical innovation. Um, an application with regards to kind of outcomes of physiology underlying, so we should kind of put the least amount of risk on the patient. Thank you very much. Thank you.